What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all enjoying this beautiful weather that we're having at the minute. Do you know what I'm really enjoying as well? The fact that I can just drive around in my van. It looks like amazing because it's clean. And then the next day I go to get in it and it's still clean. Do you know what I mean? Now today transit owners will understand this video. The flaws. You've got this like we had like thick, really thick rubber floor in the van and it starts getting a bit worse for wear and then it eventually gets holes in it, starts looking a bit tatty and it just doesn't look great in my opinion. I've been meaning to do this for quite a, for the last few weeks. Today is the day. Now my van's a daily driver, if you just didn't already know, I use it every single day and it doesn't really take a beating as such, you know what I mean? It's not like abused or anything. But I'm in and out all the time, you know, I'm in boots, I'm in trainers, I'm at the beach, I'm at the countryside, I'm on farms. I'll, I'll stop listing things off now where I go, but you get the idea, right? Basically, the floor in this van, it sees everything, pretty much. It sees the lot. Now, it's actually not in bad shape, the floor in my van. It's, it's quite good, but I want to keep it that way. And I thought, do you know what? An easy way to sort this out is to just buy some mats. So that's exactly what I did. But I didn't just buy any mats, did I? I went on eBay, good old trusty eBay, and I bought possibly the cheapest mats that I could find. Purely for educational purposes, not because I'm a cheapskate. Well, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, the, the cheapest mats that I found, I think they were like 20 quid, these mats. Now, these mats that I've bought are actually listed as crew cab mats. And believe it or not, I've had them for a few weeks and I've not really looked at them. I've not fitted them in the van. I just kind of unpacked them and I chucked them in the van and they've been underneath all my son's bikes and scooters and stuff like that for a few weeks now. We're going to fit them. We're going to see what they look like. The crew cab mats, I'm, I'm actually expecting them not to fit in the rear because my whole rear of the van is completely custom. So in this video, really, we're going to find out whether or not cheap uh, floor mats are for you whether they're an alternative to the more expensive ones. But yeah, you guys will probably get a gauge if you're looking for some mats for your van. This might help you out a little bit. Enough of me waffling on, let's get into it. Oh yeah, as well, I thought I'd just mention this. Uh, you know that video that I spent ages on when I was painting uh, these badges up here? Yeah, it went walkabouts, so I'm going to do something a little bit different with them in another video. So yeah, down here, obviously on the footwells, is the main areas on all vehicles where they start taking the wear and tear. And as you can see, it's already kind of getting to that point now where your feet go when you're driving, where it's starting to kind of to wear that down, that rubber mat. And like I say, it's, it's like really bouncy and spongy and when you wash it it's like dead slippy this which i don't like passenger side one is actually really good it's immaculate pretty much but we want to keep them that way that's why we're putting some mats in and also just because i think it's going to look a lot nicer as well if i'm honest i went for the black just black on black Obviously, as you all know, the van is black on black on black with more black on it. Sticking with that whole murdered out look. Let's get the front ones in, see what they look like.
So there we go, floor mats in. They're a little bit tight to get in if I'm honest. Um, first impressions, what's the overall fit like? It's good actually. It's good, you can see up here it's, it's all quite tight. Um, around here obviously isn't so good. This is going to have to come off and that's obviously going to have to go flat. I would think on there as you can see but I mean if that was in it does go under really well around all the little bits that it needs to go around up to there that this side down here fits really nice probably just needs to settle a bit let's have a look at the driver's side properly around the pedals so this side again is a bit it's a bit too tight actually for my lighting but it looks good it sits nice um, I'm not sure how it's gonna fare I don't know if you can see round here because obviously that's a moving part for the steering but yeah I'm, I mean I think the looks wise it really does change the, the inside the van it makes it look a lot tidier lot cleaner without that this horrible rubbery like flooring yeah that that's just that little bit over there that needs taken off and slid underneath the underneath the plastic I'm, I'm saying it's a bit tight but if it was miles away I'd be complaining one thing I'm not so keen on is where the folded it look can you see so like here look you can see it's like a, a mark where the carpet's been folded that might have just been because I've had it folded too long who knows but that's the only bad thing I've got to say really. So I've just actually getting that in there. Um, there's a little technique that I'll, I'll let you know of how to, uh, you know, put put stuff in uh, places like this, get it get it to fit right. And it's called uh, brute force. And what you do is you just wriggle it round, push it, punch it, hit it, pull it, and shove it uh, until it until it goes in. Top tip. Right, let's get this next one in then. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do about this. So he's got that line again there, it's just where it's been folded. Alright, obviously it's nowhere near where I needed to be because these seats when I put them in I put them in as far back as they could physically go so I had as much leg room as possible and as you can see this side here is all excuse that dust on there but this side here is all like kind of fitted I guess you'd call that fitted it's it's a bit short around around there it's perfect around the handbrake and this seat it's absolutely perfect now my original idea, because we've got this little bit here to rest your feet on in metal, my original idea was to use the top half of this, this mat, so like from there that way. So use all that bit that cuts around there, alright, and then get somebody to cut it off, to cut it off about here, and then put this edging on the bottom. So it ran all the way along, so it was like, so it ran all the way along there with that edging on, and it covers all this up nicely along the back and then probably get somebody to make a custom bit that goes in the back here down the side so it runs along there down there all the way along and then it actually cuts in a bit around the side here around there which i think if we got that done would look really really smart oh, what, do, what do i think the front ones are pretty pretty much a solid fit, like they're, they're good, I'm happy with them. Um, the back ones though, well, well, obviously I didn't expect them to fit because my van in the back is completely custom. This probably will fit a normal transit crew van, fine. But I think it's going to work what I was saying. I think uh, if I use the top end, which is already cut around all this, the base of the seat and everything, if I can get that to fit nicely, get someone to cut that off there, put some edging on and then create a full custom mat that actually goes in the back here to tidy it all up and then I st you still get the metal bit that I've got in the back here to rest your feet on. The only marks that I've seen on them are imperfections I guess is where it's been folded up. I don't know if that's down to me 
or whether that was down to like when it was packaged. I mean, for 20 quid though, they're, they're all right, aren't they? The value for money wise, I think they're really good. Um, how long they'd last, you know, if you were actually giving them a bit of stick, like if you were a builder or something like that, how long they'd last, I'm not sure. Personally, I think I've went for the right option. Like I wanted the carpet, I wanted the black. Would you have went for carpet? Would you have went for rubber? Would you have gotten those fancy leather, what they call diamond cut ones or diamond stitched or whatever? I think I know a place that can do the the edging and get a, a bit of carpet cut for us. Hopefully I'll be able to get one that's like the same material. So next up on the list, what I'm gonna need to do is make a template for the back of this van. And if they haven't got this same carpet, then I've probably just spent £20 on a really expensive template for my van. I'm going to take these back ones out now because they're just pointless really being in here. Let's just quickly show you the front from this angle. Just tidies it up man, just looks smart doesn't it, just makes it look that little bit a little bit neater. So this is just a short, quick little video today. I just wanted to show you guys and actually make a bit of progress myself because I've never even test fitted these in the van. I never put them in. I thought, why not make a little video on it while we're doing it? Might help some of you guys out if you're looking for mats. Stay tuned, there's plenty, plenty more videos I've got lined up coming ready soon and some collabs as well with some people you might already recognise. Hit that big red button that's underneath this video somewhere to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Have a fantastic day, enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you guys in the next video. Pew. Right, let's get this back mat out because it's me good to man the beast at the minute. Let's get rid of it. 